welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part 4. So uh, let's jump right into it. Now according to breakingtravelnews.com the 10 fabulous latest travel facts are the, the latest travel news worldwide and um, again some good some bad but I'm going to tell you about them anyway um, because um, I think um, you will be interested to, to know and I think it's interesting to know as well and um, so First up, we have Ethero, and it's basically repeats its urgent call for the UK government for a testing regrime. The UK must introduce a testing on arrival regrime. It basically worries that uh, too many people will have to quarantine from other countries and if they can get them tested beforehand then it will save them having to quarantine on arrival uh, uh, coming back to the UK which I think again is a brilliant thing instead of having to quarantine when you come back um, They say uh, the UK government must introduce a testing on arrival regrime if it wishes to maintain the leading position of global aviation. Heathrow Chief Executive John Hall K has basically argued um, again I think he has um, a brilliant argument as well um, because um, we can also detect people sooner as well um, if they've got any symptoms or whether they have the d disease or not. Um, so, and obviously it saves people having to quarantine um, on arrival. So, and um, I really hope the UK government do uh, get a, a testing on arrival scheme in. Um, number two, the UNWTO um, reported gradual opening of global borders to tourism, yay, which is absolutely fantastic news. Um, a majority of destinations around the world have now started easing travel restrictions, which is also good, all good news, and have introduced a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. A new report has been revealed. So again, well done. Um, you see um, places are uh, reopening gradually which is again a really good thing um, so uh, number three IATA what looming catastrophe for the UK aviation sector the International Air Transport Association has called um, for urgent reasons to plan for UK aviation in the face of what it brands a important unemployment catastrophe 
um, and again um, it is right um, all around the world not just in the UK um, companies um, have folded unfortunately and gone into administration and have um, unfortunately put unemployment or put not just in the UK but all around the world which is um, again absolutely terrible and my heart breaks for the workers and the company um, and um, moving on finally um, unfortunately Portugal has to be removed from England's quarantine safe list um, because of more people getting it and um, the COVID-19 unfortunately in Portugal but um, the rest is all uh, fantastic news and uh, number five the Emirates is to relaunch flights to Casablanca Mexico next week so well done sorry Emirates to relaunch flights to Casablanca, Morocco. Sorry, I do get those countries mixed up sometimes, but please do forgive me. Um, but it's absolutely fantastic news, and um, I wish Emirates uh, the best of luck and uh, Casablanca in Morocco the best of luck as well. Um, for the future and I really hope that uh, numbers of people do travel and are safe as well and number six Dandridge takes up chief uh, communications executive with Boeing so I wish him luck in that job and also the company Boeing as well and number seven is Avatar issue new calls for government support hopefully they'll get it and um, fingers crossed soon and Number eight is fantastic news because Accor um, is to take Farmost into Australia, which is in Queensland um, property. Accor is planning to bring fantastic luxury um, hotel fair fairmont sorry uh, brand to australia for the first time well done and hopefully it goes as well as possible for accor australia and fairmount and it is to open fairmont Fort Douglas in the far north of Queensland in 2023. Wow, um, it looks amazing on breakingtravelnews.com and it's set on an edge of 2NE, sorry, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Um, Basically, it's uh, between the two, the Great Barrier Reef, which is absolute, looks absolutely beautiful and fantastic, and um, Daintree Rainforest, which again is very beautiful and looks fantastic, and it looks absolutely epic. And um, so if you do have, again, the chance to go there, then I would definitely go there. It looks amazing. And the hotel and resort looks amazing as well. Um, number nine, breaking travel news, um, investigates HVS anticipates multi-speed 
global recovery yes that must be um again um if it does go ahead absolutely fantastic uh, we hope uh, hvs uh, leader has hosted a webinar to offer experts perspectives on key hospitality issues in, um, including how covid 19 pandemic um, has an impact on regions and uh, the kind of recovery hotelers uh, can be anticipating in the future and um, according to them um, they reckon it's going to be a speedy recovery which again everybody hopes uh, hopes um, like any other business and I really hope it is a speedy recovery recovery what they say and um, it also gives hope out there as well um, to all people around the world um, again that um, there is going to be hopefully fingers crossed a speedy recovery in the future now uh, last but not least is Leeds Bradford Airport um, in West Yorkshire has released has released a new terminal images it's already had an extension and it looks amazing on breakingtravelnews.com and if you go onto their website you will find the new terminal images and it looks amazing and it looks brilliant um, so well done Lee's Bradford Airport for that and I wish you um, and all the staff and customers that travel with you all the best for the future so thank you for watching everybody if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it's the red and white button also if you click the notification bell um, I upload on both my travel and lifestyle channels uh, three to five times a week. At the moment, it is five times a week um, because I've got less hours at where I work at Morrison's. Again, I love speaking to you guys um, about travel and uh, lifestyle. And I wish everybody the best for the future. Love you all. You all mean the world to me. And... I'll see you on Sunday at 8 o'clock, um, which I'm going to be doing uh, my latest travel and lifestyle channels updates for you. Um, so, again, I, I wish everybody happiness and thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.